Hi everyone, welcome to Quilt Club for the month of June. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the beautiful weather we've been having, interspersed with incredible thunderstorms. I was driving down to Toronto yesterday and was in an absolute deluge, the kind where it's kind of frightening because you really can't see very well. Uh, but today, beautiful again, managed to get out a little, a little bit of time in the garden. So hope you're enjoying the weather and when it's pouring, having some happy quilting time. Um, so uh, a few things to uh, talk to you about, but first of all, this month's block. So there is the block for this month. It's a really fun block. Um, units that we have made before, so um, nothing there that we uh, need to go over particularly, and I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful time with the block. I love the, uh, the pattern that the side units make. It turns out really uh, spectacularly and makes this nice interesting star um, so in this case um, our sample maker exactly followed the directions um, and it has turned out absolutely beautifully so I um, you can certainly use your square and square ruler to do the center square and square unit but you don't have to rely on any special rulers for this particular unit either. Um, so um, your blocks are coming together and hopefully you're, you're getting along with your finishing if you are doing the finishing kit. Um, so behind me, tucked right down at the bottom here, is the unit the block we're making this month on point and it looks quite different so that's kind of fun. And then I'm just going to move the table here a little bit. Um, over here is our... Um, unit right in the middle here and that also has turned out beautifully um, and I'm sure yours will too. Um, so um, one thing I want to mention um, with the um, finishing instructions we found there's a couple of little things that I wanted to mention to you. Um, when you are making the units here the spinning star and um, the you want the uh, the spin to all go in the same direction so the directions are a little bit unclear there and you may find that some of your units are in the other direction. So just pay close attention where you're putting that together if you're making this particular one that the spinning star all goes in the same direction by making those triangle shapes. Um, just read the directions carefully and make sure that you have those going in the same direction. The other thing that some of our um, customers have found is the instructions did not give exactly the right amount for that, um, in this case, light beige uh, fabric that is in the center of the sashing. Um, and now I'm forgetting exactly the right amount. I think it uh, called for 0.7 and you need 0.75 or something like that. So really, really close. Um, most of you did buy a little bit extra, um, but do check the measurements that you have and what your cuts need to be um, before you put it in a bag and put it away for two years or anything like that because we don't want you to not be able to get any extra fabric if in fact you need some. So just check on the measurement that you bought for that particular fabric and make sure you've got what you need. If you have any questions about all this, you can, you can give us a call at the store. Okay, so this month we have um, a number of things coming up. Um, we have a 20% off special in store for Father's Day and that'll be all, all the information about this will be in the newsletter when you get that in the email in a few days. And um, June 30th this month, we are continuing with our anniversary celebration, 30 years in business uh, as country concessions. But June 30th is the Sunday before Canada Day and we are going to be closed at the store and many, many people um, go away or have a family plan. So for June, we are going to be celebrating our 30th anniversary special on June the 28th. So that's important to remember and we will be sending out emails about that. And this month we're going to be doing all sorts of different kinds of fasteners. So pins, wonder clips, sew tights, things that hold your layers of fabric together to let you sew with accuracy and precision. And you can watch for a, a more detailed email about that and a video about that coming up soon. Um, another thing that I just wanted to give you a heads up about, our retreat sign up for our fall retreat is going to be on August the 12th. Uh, that is a Monday and um, 
Again, full email is going to be coming out about the November retreat, prices, the date. I think it's the 15th to the 17th, but don't quote me on that because I didn't write it down. Um, and every, all the information will be coming out in an email, but I wanted to give you a heads up that the sign up is August the 12th. Um, we are starting a fundraising initiative for our local hospital, Stephen Memorial Hospital in Alliston. And uh, most people who work here, certainly myself, we um, hopefully don't frequent Stevenson Memorial Hospital, but we've certainly all availed ourselves of its services. Um, Stevenson started as a very small hospital and our community has grown by leaps and bounds as so many have. And the hospital is finding it straining at the seams and they are doing a huge fundraiser for capital, uh, a capital fund for building expansion and it's going to massively increase the size and functionality of that hospital. So we are doing a fundraiser, which is quilt block raffle. So we have prepared um, kits for two different blocks. This is one of them. This is called a star block. And this is the second block. Block two is called the hourglass block. And you can see why we've named it as that. When those two blocks are put together, we come up with a wonderful quilt pattern that looks like this. So it's, it's really, really beautiful. So the idea with our fundraiser, we have two different kits. They're available on our website. Uh, if you just um, put in the search SMH or fundraiser, um, you, you'll go to the right place. You can buy one or more blocks and the blocks are $9.99 each. All the proceeds from the sale of these blocks go toward to Stevenson Memorial. We're not keeping any of the profit, uh, any of the proceeds for ourselves at all. We are donating everything to the hospital. Um, so $9.99 will go directly to the hospital. When you get your block kit, the idea is that you piece together your block or blocks and return them to our store, either by mail or in person and they will be entered into a block raffle draw. And uh, put your name on each block you hand in, full instructions are in the kit, and then we will be drawing for lucky winners of 25 or more blocks, which will amount, allow you to make, this beautiful quilt is made with 25 blocks. They're uh, 12 inch finished blocks. Um, so we're selling kits now. They're going to be available till the end of August. You will have till the end of September to return blocks to the store here. And we will be drawing for our lucky winners on October the 7th. So I hope you'll support our fundraising initiative for Stevenson Memorial Hospital. And hopefully we'll have a nice big donation to give them at the end of September. Uh, so that's all about the fundraiser and you may have seen it in the email. We will be sending more emails out with in full information and details and the link to purchase them. Um, another save the date is our birthday bash, which is our biggest celebration of the year. And this year that is going to be on August 22nd to 24th inclusive Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so those are our events that are coming up. Um, I've got some great uh, products to show you today. Three um, kits um, for different projects, and I hope you're going to be able to see this all right. This is called the Mondo Bag. So it is a great big bag, hugely roomy interior. It's got two internal pockets. It's got a little tab on it for attaching your keys. And this is great for over the shoulder. It's a great big bag, and it will just hold a ton of quilting project stuff or beach stuff or shopping stuff, all sorts of different purposes uh, for this bag. So love the Mondo bag. It, it comes in a kit like this. So this is the kit that you're going to get. Sorry about the reflection and instructions on it, all the materials you need on the back. So the kit contains four panels of printed interfacing. And the interfacing looks like this. It's really hard to see. It is printed. It's printed and it has the markings for your corners and all that sort of stuff on the printed interfacing. So you need four panels of interfacing, which are included in your kit. So when you buy the kit, you get your pattern and your instructions and the four panels of interfacing you need to make that bag. 
Um, so it's really like a self-contained project. This uses jelly roll strips. Um, you can cut your own jelly roll strips. Um, you can cut squares if you want. You can do it from five inch squares um, or the jelly roll strips. We made ours from jelly roll strips and it takes 14 strips to make the bag. Um, we use K facet um, strips and it, it's turned out absolutely beautifully. So quite excited about this one. The kit in containing the pattern and the interfacing is $36.99. We will also have interfacing available. So if you wanted to make a second bag, if you love the way it turned out, we will have packaged interfacing so you can just buy the interfacing. And I forgot to bring one up, but I'm pretty sure it's $17.99 you can, or $16.99. You can check that out on the website. So that is our first project. The second one, and I might have to move the camera away a little bit. Let's see if I can. I'm going to move this away a little bit just so I can stand back and show this to you. Okay, there we go. There is our mitered table runner. So the Miter Table Runner is a very, very quick and simple project. The center is a focal fabric. We chose this beautiful uh, fabric called Morning Blossom. And the border is a border stripe printed fabric. The green that looks like flange there is actually part of that border stripe. And then we've bound it in a, in a pretty um, coral pink. So this particular project is a pattern called Miter Table Runner. They showed in Halloween fabric, which is really, really cute, but very, very different from our uh, particular project. And then we've done up some lovely kits with those Morning Blossom fabrics in it, so you can make one um, the same as the one we have. And it's a really, really pretty summery runner to have on your table. So the kits are $39.99, less your 20%. And the pattern is $16.99, less your 20%. The kit does include the pattern. Okay, um, so it's a great price and a lovely, lovely project. Now, the next one we have is also absolutely beautiful. This is called Fairy Nooks and Crannies number three. So it's, a, it's quite a long table runner. So I'm just showing you there. That's the full length. So the table runner is um, 14 by 59 inches. The pattern also includes placemats that are 14 by 17 inches. So there's the table runner, and I absolutely love this. We have kitted this in shoreline fabric, which is um, gorgeous fabrics for, from Camille Roscali of Thimble Blossoms. And here's the placemats. These are just gorgeous. So. Four placemats are also included in the kit, all the same, of course, uh, but they have turned out absolutely beautifully. We've just um, bound, it, uh, bound it with the uh, fabric from Shoreline and then just put a nice soft green dry brush fabric on the back. So really, really pretty. Um, again, we have kitted that. So in this kit, there are the fabrics to make the runner and four placemats plus the pattern. So it is $109.99. And then we have the pattern here, Fairy Nooks and Crannies. Uh, the pattern is $15.99. Okay, moving back over here a little bit. I've just got a few binding tools to show you. Uh, because we're doing placemats which have a lot of different uh, binding going on around a lot of different things, I thought I would show you the binding tool star. So I'm just going to relocate the camera and be right back. Okay, the first tool is called the binding tool. And it is a product that has been around for a long time. Um, this is what it looks like when you purchase it. It has angles at the end to do your cuts to join your binding together. So this lets you bind your uh, join your binding ends together seamless. Well, they have a seam, but it looks seamless. Beautifully done with no lumps or bumps or anything. Um, when you buy the tool, it looks blue. That is actually a plastic film that is on the back of the ruler. So when you take that off, you actually have a clear ruler. It does come in two sizes. This is great when you're doing a bigger project because you need to leave 10 inch tails and a 12 inch gap between them. The little mini binding tool is wonderful when you are doing a small thing like a plate 
placemat or a wall hanging where you don't perhaps have 12 inches between your ends. This allows you to do six inches between your ends and leave a six inch tail. So it's um, an easy way to work with a smaller project like a placemat. So this is what you are doing when you get to the ends. You've attached all your binding and you want to fasten the ends together with, uh, without having a big lump or bump. So as I say, we're going to leave 12 inches between the ends where we finish sewing it on and you're leaving about a 10 inch tail, six inch if you're using the mini tool. I'm going to take my binding tool and I'm going to place it on top of my quilt and draw the tail of the binding across the ruler. You can see on the ruler there is a line here. We're going to mark a line on our tail um, exactly in line with that line on the ruler. Then I'm going to open up my tail and I'm going to position this on here on the line and then I can use my rotary cutter off the project of course slice it down the end and take off the engineered dog ear then I'm going to rotate my ruler 180 degrees and reposition it on the other side do exactly the same thing with the tail draw it across mark that line then I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to mark this a little cut this a little bit differently in this case I'm going to put the point of my ruler on the line where the engineered corner is. Do my cut there and there and then I end up with a piece where I've made those two cuts. You can see that okay? So I've got this one here and this one here. You can see those are going to seam together perfectly. So I'm going to place those two right sides together, lining up the engineered corners, and sew that in a quarter inch seam. Once I've done that, there's my quarter inch seam. You can press it open or to the side. Press your binding in half, and you can see it exactly fits that space that was left. And we just have a beautiful finish there once you've sewn that and turned it over, you're not even going to notice where that join is. So it works absolutely perfectly. Um, we've got the two binding tools. The small one is $13.99, the large one $17.99, less your 20%. Um, we also have a pattern. Um, this is called the Binding Tool Star. This is a Missouri Star pattern. Um, we have a sample and I can't find it, which drives me crazy. But anyway, this is a beautiful quilt. If you go to the Missouri Star website and uh, Google uh, doing their search, Binding Tool Star, you will see a really great example of this quilt and how to make it. So easy and it makes perfect use of that binding tool to make an actual project. Two other binding uh, tools that I have. One is called the third hand binding or third hand binding folder clip. So this is what it looks like. It's a 3D printed plastic tool. It has a curved C slot that you feed your binding through and um, a little wing nut here to allow you to slide it back and forth to put it on the end of an ironing board. Um, so this works to feed your binding through before it's pressed to allow you to feed through and hold your iron on top of your fabric as it slides across your ironing board and um, fold your binding and I press it basically all in one step. So this larger one allows you to make two and a half inch bindings and there is a smaller size that allows you to make two inch bindings. Now I have fabricated a pseudo ironing board here. So I'm gonna bring this on here. So I'm saying this is the end of my ironing board. Now it's hard to position this because of course, whoops, I just need to loosen this a little bit. This is sitting on top of my table here, but basically I take my binding and I'm going to take it off here. It'll be easier to fold it and I'm going to fold it and insert it into that C slot. So I'm just folding that and sliding it in. It's just getting it started is the 
slightly tricky. Now they leave this slot in the top here so that you can take a pin to help you. I haven't got it in the right one at the bottom there. Sorry guys, bear with me. Okay. There we go. Okay, once you get it started, you're away to the races. So then I'm going to put it over the end of my iron board, in this case, piece of wood, and I'm going to draw this forward, and it's folding as we go. And then I'm going to grab my iron here, and I can put that on top and just draw it through, and that I'm holding it on my ironing board. If I have a proper ironing board, it's a little easier, but you get the idea. I'm just going to fold that over and sew it, or press it as it goes. So that is the third hand binding folder clip. Um, very useful tool. The two different sizes I think are the same price, $26.99 for either of the sizes. The last thing that we've got here, this is called the binding wheel. And this is for storing your binding when you have finished making it. So it looks like a little mini Ferris wheel. Um, so when you get your binding prepared, I'm just going to grab the one I was working on here, then my binding is all ready and I'm just going to insert it in the, again, it's the getting started. My, I think I suffer from fat fingers. There we go. Once it is started, then you just are going to wind your binding on your binding wheel like this. And you can wind on enough for a king size quilt on here. So you just keep winding and winding and you've got your binding all ready to go so you can make it way ahead of time, store it on the binding wheel, and then feed it off there, put that down beside your sewing machine and run the binding off to... Um, sew it onto your quilt. So just another handy tool to help you put your binding on efficiently and easily. And the binding tool wheel is $43.99, another product from Purple Hobbies um, that uh, is just helping our efficiency with our quilting. So I think that's everything. I'm just going to bring back that lovely placemat for you to look at while I finish up. Um, thank you all for joining me this month. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to call. And if you have any difficulties with your block, we're here to help you. Enjoy your quilting this month. See you in July. Thanks, everybody.